Yeah, it's me, James. Welcome to another episode of my Philly Sports Scenes and Events. I'm on the, across the river from Philadelphia. This is the train bridge that's right next to the Walt Whitman Bridge that goes from uh, northeast parts of Philly, Richmond area, across to Pensacola, New Jersey. And in the distance, right about over there, you can see the Philly uh, skyline. It's far away, but it's clear today, and it has been really hot in this area. Almost 90 degrees every day. And we're just trying to survive. The Philadelphia Phillies, it's amazing. They, they just finished with uh, their two-game London England series with the New York Mets. And those two teams split the series. Phillies won the first game and the Mets won the second one. And now Philadelphia Phillies are just one game behind New York Yankees in the Major League Baseball standing. I just thought it was weird how an uh, American Major League Baseball game is played in London. Because it is not an international league. If anything, right, like the Little League is played in uh, Williamsport in the United States every year. But that's a an international game so maybe it wouldn't be weird and maybe the little league should travel playing different places of the world or different city in the world like the Olympics uh, and leagues like the Major League Baseball or uh, NFL start to do a lot of games overseas you know like in Mexico and I don't, I don't even know where, London, and maybe uh, there should be a rule all the games should be played within this country because it's not an international league and it wouldn't make any sense. I don't know if anybody thought about that, but I guess they're trying to make money because when they do an overseas game, they attract, you know, in international fans and also, uh, the domestic fans from here travel to those countries, and uh, you know, it's all about the money. Anyways, let's get to the events. So, summertime is here, and there are just a lots of events every week. As of right now, it's only baseball going on. Uh, we're still a little, you know, a little bit far away from even the NFL uh, practices. So there isn't a whole lot, anything else, such as football or basketball, and uh, forget about the ice hockey. It's too hot for that. So as of right now, there are some of the football stuff start to pop up but mainly it's all about baseball so on Friday June 7th I went to this uh, event it's called the Corona Feel Good Friday and this one is taking place at the Maggie's Waterfront Cafe it's done by uh, the country radio station 92.5 WXTU so this is uh, a, one of the series of events that they do. It's called the Feel Good Friday. And uh, every week, the radio station will travel to a different location, a different bar uh, or uh, restaurant, taverns. And uh, they set up a table there where you can spin the wheel and you can win uh, prizes. And also you can win, uh, they give you a ticket when you get there and then they draw the ticket once every while. And you can win uh, tickets 
to a, a upcoming concert. So it was pretty neat and it sounds good, you know, Feel Good Friday. So I went there and I'm a country music fan. So, uh, you know, just to see what's about. And uh, I went over there and spent the wheel. I did not win, you know, I won the, they were featuring some kind of, you know, Corona Feel Good Friday tank top. And, you know, I wear tank top, so I wanted one. But uh, it turns out the tank top they have, it's, it's, it's for women. It's a women's cot, and it's too small for me. And uh, I'm not gonna wear that. So, you know, I, I told the guy, you know, I was going there for the tank tops. Uh, so I spent the wheel, the first time I did not win, so, you know, I spun again. And uh, I actually won the, t the, the tank topper t-shirt, so I picked the t-shirt. And then there were other stuff on the table you can, you know, you can take. Uh, my wife went with me and she also won the, uh, the tank topper t-shirt, so she picked the tank top. So I'm going to show you what I got. First of all, Corona Feel Good Friday sticker. And then I pick this uh, 92.5 XTU Phillies Country Station t shirt because. I'm going to a uh, XTU radio station's ticket run the next day. And uh, I was hoping to win the tickets to their 20th anniversary show. So I figure if I win the tickets to the concert and then I have a uh, uh, XTU t-shirt that I can wear and I got my cowboy hat and I got my cowboy boots so it's all appropriate and then on the same night there was a big Phillies event it's called the uh, Phillies Takes London Party and it was at the uh, Xfinity Live and they, uh, it, you know, before I went, you know, I look on the Facebook and on the event description, and it sounds like a pretty good event. Uh, they have, it says that they have live question and answer with Phillies expert, and uh, Phillies tickets giveaway, and uh, swags giveaway, special guest. Some of them are Philly, uh, former former Phillies players turning to broadcasters and some of them are uh, the the post game show personalities and hosts such as Michael Barkan, Ricky Patalico, Ruben Amaro, Ben Davis and Ashlyn Sullivan. They're all the ones you see, you know, on TV in the Philadelphia area for, for the NBC Sports Philadelphia uh, broadcasters. And then they were, you know, a couple days before the event, they put up like a, a, a animation on the Facebook event website. And they show you that there were a lot of stuff they're giving away centuries. Uh, sunglasses uh the london phillies london bus the double decker bus toy or uh, a die cast uh there were straw hats and uh the new phillies street edition gears there were a bunch of stuff they were giving away so you know i had to go and i wouldn't miss this event for anything so I went and it was nice uh, it was crowded but it was not packed because believe me you do you don't want an Xfinity Live to be packed it is very uncomfortable 
to uh, try to even walk around in there when there are too many people there. So there were people there, and uh, when you walk in there, the NBC 10, uh, NBC 10 and the NBC uh, Sports Philadelphia had a table set up there. They were giving away the Phillies cheer cards and uh, Beats necklace, and then the Philly sports trips. They are sponsors, so they had the table set up on the right to the side of the entrance, where uh, you can enter to win a trip, a sports trip, and that was really neat. And then on the opposite side of the NBC Sports Philadelphia table, there is a uh, a London theme backdrop set up for you to take pictures with uh, those uh, celebrity guests I just mentioned and also later on they had uh, those uh, those uh, soldiers that guards the Buckingham Palace you know with the tall black hat they were standing there so you can take a picture with them because everything is London London theme and it's British is England theme for the London series baseball game and then uh, there's another table further into the uh, the venue where you uh, use your cell phone to scan the QR code and then you can vote for the major league baseball players who you like who's the best and then when you're done you show them you did it and then they'll give you a uh, kind of like like a country like straw hat and then uh, there are just a lot of stuff going on they were doing uh, live they, you know they had the, the table the broadcasting table set up they were doing live uh, NBC Sports Philadelphia Phillies London series game uh, pregame show there and then also they had uh, Q&A session for any fans that have any questions for the the broadcasters and the Phillies expert you can ask them questions and then you know if you do that they'll give you a uh, special prize so it it was fun <coughs> and as you know the Xfinity life has many different rooms and restaurants inside it's just not just a whole big open Place. The main room is a, a big open area with the giant screen, TVs, over the wall, it's like uh, the sports books at the inside of a casino, but then they also had other restaurants and bars inside of it, around the main room, and there is a, there is a cowboy bar there. And uh, they had some some other events going on there for the uh, the country music concert that take place at the Lincoln Financial Field the next day for the Kenny Chesley concert. So they, there were a lot of people there, and, and and it was relaxing. It was fun. My friend Jody and uh, Patrick they were also there. So uh, let me show you. These are the Beats Nexus necklaces. I got I can wear them and the uh, Phillies cheer card with the Philly fanatic on the back of it
Philly sports trips, koozies. The straw cowboy's hat. This is what I was talking about. You got to do the. You have to vote to get this. And the the only thing I weird I thought about this was. Uh, you see inside the star, there's a Phillies logo. They should have make the Phillies logo bigger on this hat because it's so tiny and you can't see it. So uh, what's the point? And I got this, uh, I did not win the prizes, but since I'm always there at those events, so the show host give it to me. The new Philly street dishing winter hat. And also this is very special. This is the double-decker bus that I was talking about. This is actually the promotional item they're handing out at the Phillies Linden game for kids under 14 years old, I think. You see, this is the Phillies London 2024. It's really hard to get this because the the Phillies ball girls they were there promoting the team and helping out with the event, and they all hold on onto this till the end of the broadcasting. So they were holding it in their hand, taking pictures, and also for the end of the broadcasting, they all had this uh, London bus in their hand for for the ending of the show. And then afterwards, I asked for it and then they gave me one. They only had a few of this, and this you actually had to go to uh, the London game, and you have to be 14 and under to get one, and this die cast is pretty heavy. So this is a nice piece of uh, sports memorabilia. For the Q&A session, if you participate, they give you one of this, uh, this is a bigger and a nicer straw hat with the big Phillies P on the front and NBC 10 and uh, NBC Spanish Broadcasting and the NBC Sports Philadelphia logo on the back. And look how nice this hat is. Inside it has lining, say same thing. NBC 10 and NBC Sports Philadelphia. I love this hat, it was really hard to get. So I pretty much got all the uh, the giveaways that it has so I can show it to you guys. So that was a good event. And uh, you know, city like Philadelphia and team like Phillies, they, you know, they do a lot of events. That's why I'm able to do the show. Because with all the events, the, you know, my show is all about the, the sports events and whatever else event. With all those events, there would be no show. So I don't know if the Mets, in New York City if they have a similar event, but I don't think so. So Philadelphia is a great city for things like this and and they always have a lot of swag giveaways at every event. So, you know, that was good. And then the next day, Saturday, June 8th, I went to the country mu music radio station, 92.5 XTU's anniversary show ticket run. 
And this one's at the Cowtown Cowboy Outfitters. So how it works is, uh, be, you know, before the concert, actually this Friday, and then they do a few of the ticket run event, and each one's taking taking place at a different location. So you go there, and uh, you get uh, a raffle ticket. And then every, about every 10, 15 minutes, they will call a few, sometimes three, at other events, they will, every 20 minutes, they call five uh, of winners they draw out of the bucket. So in total, they have 25 pair tickets to give away per location. So the chances are, you know, you're gonna win something. You're gonna win the concert ticket. So the uh, this one I went to at in uh, Caltown, there were a handful of people there. You know, some people went to the store. You know, it was Saturday. People go out to shop. Some people went in the store and bought something and come out and I've never even bothered with the the, uh, the radio station's promotion. But then there were other people that was there for it. So people bought their their chair there and set out and uh, to wait and see if they can win anything. So my wife and I went and uh, the end result was uh, we, we both won. We both won, uh, each one of us, we both won a pair of tickets. So it wasn't so hard. We just sat out there for, uh, for a couple of hours and then the reason I waited until the end was because at this location, the, uh, the cowboy outfitters, they were also uh, putting out some of those uh, barefoot country music fast concert tickets. I think they have four, four pair of tickets to give away and that's uh, coming up soon in Wildwood, New Jersey, Round the Beach. It's a country music uh, party and concert. Uh, so I stay until the end, but I, you know, those you have to enter through your phone on the, you know, with the QR code. I did not win that, but uh, we did get the the XTU anniversary concert ticket, so that was good. And right across the street from the Caltown Cowboy Outfitters, it's the uh, Caltown Flea Market and the Rodeo. I always heard, you know, I never been to there before because it's a little bit far away from where I live. It's in the country, and uh, I always want to go, so I went across the street. And uh, the flea market was pretty good. There were a lot of people there. There were a lot, a lot of people there at the flea market. And then uh, the rodeo is right next to it. And they have, uh, sometimes they have events there, like, you know, in the nighttime, on the weekend, in the nighttime. But uh, there was no event going on there. But I saw, I saw the rodeo. So that was a good day. We won the tickets. And then next day, uh, yeah, I don't have the tickets with me, but I can show you. Hold on. I can show you. I did grab some stuff while I was out there. They had this highlighter. Five different colors. And JM. I think the reason is NJM because I, you know, I put two and two together. I just saw on the uh, Facebook uh, yesterday, NJM, I guess they have something to do with sponsoring this uh, WXTU anniversary show because they say that when you go to the concert and uh, you go to their table there and uh, for the designated, designated driver program and you can get a, uh, a free t-shirt. Uh, that's why they ha I guess that's why they had the, the NJM insurance stuff there to give away. So anyway, next day, Sunday, June 9th, there was another one of the, uh, the country music radio station XTU anniversary show ticket run. And this one takes place at Rita's Italian Water Ice in Voorhees, New Jersey, which is not too far away from me. 
same thing. 25 pairs of uh, concert tickets to give away. So I went and uh, there were people there. There were people there. Not a whole lot. And uh, you know, we sit out there and got some uh, Rita's water ice and waited. So I think the first, they do it once every 20 minutes and five pair tickets for each drawing. So the first two or three, I couldn't remember. We did not win. It's, it seems like people that came later, uh, they were the winners. But there, you know, the bucket's big, and and there were only a handful of tickets inside, and the, the guy did shook it up. So it's not like the people came later; their tickets on the top. So I don't know how that happened. It's, it's funny how things happen. You know, like you never know. But I think maybe the third or the fourth time they draw the tickets and uh, myself and my wife one after another we did win so we got two more tick pair tickets from the uh, from this concert ticket ride and there are more there are more uh, those uh, ticket ride events uh, before the concert this week but I got enough tickets you know so I'm not going, no more. And then uh, at this one, same thing. You know, you can win the tickets and then they have some stuff they put out on the table. I got this nice uh, selfie light. I'll show you. XTU. Selfie light. You see how I'm kind of dark today because of the shade and the way the sun is. And I can use actually use something like this. And but right now there isn't any effect. It doesn't really make make me any brighter, even though the light is pretty bright. So on the table they had the. Uh, the selfie light they were giving away oh this is nice crown royal sunglasses those are nice So that's pretty much everything I got for free this week that I can use. I don't just go out there and get free stuff. I get free stuff I can use like the cowboy hat and uh, the XTU t-shirt for the country concert this Friday. And uh, so this way, since I don't got no money, so you know, I can't really spend any money buying all this stuff, so I go to the concert. I got the tickets for free, I got a hat, and I got uh, t-shirt, things to wear. Can't beat that. So, you know, that's why I do this. That's why I go to those events, and also, it is fun. So, now for the upcoming events. Uh, once again, I want to talk about the Wawa Welcome America. There are a lot of events uh, almost every day from mid-June all the way to July 4th uh, for the July 4th celebration and uh, they have uh, Rocky movie night in front of the Art Museum Philadelphia Art Museum steps and then also uh, they have a uh, a Philadelphia Zoo 150th anniversary celebration. Uh, you can go to the zoo on that day 
uh, later in the afternoon during the operate uh, during the celebration, and it's a. Uh, it's free for everyone. It's free to enter the zoo, so you can bring your kids, bring your whole family there, and go to the zoo. You don't have to pay for it. And also, while I was gonna be there, they have uh, other things that they're giving away. Sometimes they even handing out uh, the July Fourth and fireworks concert tickets or uh, coupon for free Wawa drinks and Wawa hoagies and things like that. And then, among other, uh, the free museum. Every day, almost every day, there's uh, a uh, free museum you can go to, and uh, and block party. So there are a lot of events going on for Wawa. All the you know, in June, all the way leads to the the Fourth of July concert and the fireworks on the uh, Parkway in front of the art museum. So that's all very exciting, the Wawa July 4th events. And then uh, Saturday, June 22nd, County Land Fence. It's uh, a place uh, they sell fence and construction of uh, fences. Every year they do an, uh, a barbecue. It's like a fan appreciation type thing and I I'm pretty sure they're uh, also a big Philly sports fan, so they always have uh, the Philly sports players there to sign autographs and meet and greet with uh, the fans. So this year, they're going to have uh, some Eagles and the Phillies' uh, former players and current players such as uh, Brandon Graham, Thess Joyner, and also former Phillies player Matt Stairs and uh, Ricky Batalico, they're all going to be there to meet the fans. So there's four sports figures. It's almost like going to a, a, a sports memorabilia store for a, uh, or a mall, you know, when they have those autograph events, and, but you gotta pay for it, and this one's free. This one's free, and also they, you know, they have food there. They have, I don't know what they do, I, I can't remember. I think they cook hot dogs and burgers. And also they have uh, the Phillies food, like tasty cakes and Philly soft pretzels. So it's a good free event. You can go there, meet the Philly sports legends and, and get to eat for free. And uh, July, Sunday, July 21st, current Eagles player, Nicobe Dean, he is having a back to school event. Uh, bring your kids there. Uh, you know, just look look on the screen, look on my screen for the, the, uh, the information and the location. Uh, I think you do have to sign up online because it's only for a limited amount of uh, tickets they're giving away and you go that you, you bring your kids there and teenagers you can get a free book bag and school supply and then they uh, also kids can receive a free haircut and healthy snacks and they have uh, some some uh, other giveaways there and then you get to meet the Kobe Dean and you know, sometimes it's really hard to meet players like that. And you get to meet him, bring you know, bring a picture, bring a football, and then you can get uh, the autograph. You see, there's a train. The Atlantic City line goes from Philadelphia to Atlantic City. It's pretty neat, huh? It's a New Jersey train set train. Since that's the train bridge back there. So that's pretty much everything for this week's, you know, for the last week's event. And this week there are more stuff coming up. Uh, so I'll see you guys next week. Let's go Phillies. And for the Eagles, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles!